Hi, I'm Sean Kantayashi with Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers. Are you ready to adopt a puppy? Ask yourself these questions before you adopt a new puppy. First off, puppies, all dogs in fact, need structure and boundaries, and then training and exercise, and then they need love and affection in that order. What do I mean when I say dogs need, all puppies need structure and boundaries? Well, let's start off with that. So structure and boundaries, you can see how we've created structure and boundaries here at Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers by having a playpen that provides a structure. We have several videos here on creating playpen environments that work very well for dogs. So structure and boundaries also includes having a schedule where you take your dog in and out or where you make sure you have routines for your dog. And as you can see, we have several different structures that enable our dogs to work very well. Another structure that we have is a clearly demarked area for dogs to do their potty business, but then also we have a routine and a structure around going outside for pottying. So structure and boundaries is the first part. And then the second part is training and exercise. Do you have a plan and time for how you will train your new puppy? My channel here has lots of tips and techniques on how to train a puppy. So if you need to learn that skill, we've got you covered. Follow along. The love and affection part, people often start with love and affection. And I want to make really, really clear that you, in order to raise a beloved family pet, you need to start with structure and boundaries and then training and exercise and then you can do the love and affection. All right, some more questions for you to ask, and I'll just have you watch some of my puppies here as I'm sharing my questions that uh, you definitely need to ask yourself before you adopt a dog or a puppy. Do you have a place for your puppy to potty that will work for you and your family? You can see here we have potty pads indoors, and we also have an outdoor place where our dogs can go. In fact, there's a video on my channel here about how to prepare your outdoor space for a new puppy. So check that out if you are intending to have a puppy use a yard space. So will you do the training yourself or will you buy a puppy that's already trained? We offer puppies at eight weeks and four days old with a little bit of training, and they have some basic housebreaking training going on at eight weeks and four days old. However, we also offer our prep school program, and if you want a puppy that's already pre-trained, we can provide that. But you'll need to think that out before you adopt a dog. It takes time to train a puppy. So make sure you have the time if that is your plan. Next question to ask yourself, which vet, veterinarian office, do you plan to use and are they accepting new patients? In the state of Pennsylvania, in the United States where I currently live, many veterinary offices are not taking new patients. But if you're planning to adopt a puppy, check it out. Get clear if your vet is able to take a new patient and then schedule a vet appointment so that your dog can go to the vet, ideally within three days of getting your new puppy. Next question, will you be able to plan for and afford the routine care such as feeding Obviously, a smaller dog, a smaller puppy, is going to eat less than a significantly larger dog. But really think out, what type of food will you be feeding the puppy? And what will the costs be associated with food and supplements? Because that can really add up if you have not thought about it in advance. 
Also think about the cost of vet care. What will it cost you in your first year for all the basic shots and um, spaying and neutering your puppy? Call your vet in advance and ask them specifically, what does it cost for all the basic shots? What does it cost for spaying and neutering? And then also make sure you are very clear on what it costs for emergency type services and whether or not your vet provides emergency services. Figure out if there is a emergency service vet that you can use. What will happen when you are away? And let's say maybe you're going on vacation or you're going to be in a 12 hour meeting and not at home. Who will take care of your puppy? This is an important question to get clear on in advance. I have people who come and stay in my home when I am not able to be here. And so I always have people in my home with my dogs, but you'll need to think out your own plan and arrange backup care for your dog or dogs when you're not able to be home with them. If you have family members or people who live in your home, are they also in agreement and willing to engage with the puppy in positive ways? When people get a puppy from us, we provide a manual, a guide, step-by-step -step on how to take care of and train your schnauzer to become a beloved family member. When you get this guide, I highly recommend that you read it with all of your family members and with the people who will be interacting with and training the puppy. Even the youngest member of your family needs to be actively involved in training and engaging with the puppy in positive ways. And on that note, children need to be at least four years or older before they have access to and uh, playtime with a new puppy. Next week, I will be sharing a video about how to introduce young children to a puppy. This was a video that was requested by someone who's getting one of Penny's puppies. And so I have arranged for a little four-year-old to come over and we are going to show you step-by-step -step what you do to introduce a puppy to a four-year-old. So that's coming next week. Watch for that. Are you ready to adopt a dog? Please ask yourself and your family members these questions before you adopt a dog so that you know that you are ready. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do. We talk about all things puppy. We talk about how to prepare yourself and your family, how to train a beloved puppy, as well as how to make the right choices for your uh, life and your puppy. Follow along our playlists, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.